I'm moving and I'm taking all of my books with me. That's me when I lie because I'm not taking all of my books with me. I'm only moving into my college apartment and I'm able to keep the majority of my books at my house. So here's an amazing slideshow I've made of all my shelves at home. <laughs> finishing touches to the reading corner so now let's do a tour all right so I'm actually on the opposite wall from the corner right now but this is where I keep my book cart and I feel like this is arguably the most important part is the books I haven't read I'm gonna talk about all of the books on this cart without showing my side profile hopefully we have a crystal dark and lonely defy the night the assassin's blade red rising Heart of the Raven Prince, As Good as Dead, If We Were Villains, You. This is the second book in the You series, um, On the Rooftop and Happy Place. Second row, we have Brutal Prince, Dare You to Hate Me, If You Had Been With Me, Before We Were Strangers, Something Wilder, Today, Tonight, Tomorrow, Beautiful World, Where Are You, Forever Interrupted, After I Do, King of Wrath, The Cheat Sheet, and The Way I Used to Be. In the very bottom, we have... The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank and The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And then down here, we have like a little bit of a TBR jar. I made like one video with it. Well, that's not true. I made three. I only posted one. And I don't want to talk about it. But I have a little TBR jar that I may use again, may not. And then th these two car boxes, which we will get into later. Oh, oops. All right, now moving to the more exciting part, the actual bookshelf. I didn't frame this very well. You can't see the top. I have two photos. I have this photo of like my grandpa and I that's probably like 17 years old. Then we have a picture with my dog with a book. Um, specifically, this is Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo that I was reading when I took this. Next, I have the Addicted series by Kristen Becker Ritchie here. Um, well, I have the first three like Addicted books off to the side because they're like pink and purple and then these three are like blue and green and I thought that kind of matched the green here because the colors of my room are blue green and yellow so like it's just it's it's a vibe it's good for me we have another photo of my dog being so precious and this green like antique frame which I I love then I have this little blue toy car that was my grandpa's and then I got these really cute book stands that are like chess pieces which I love so much. Here I have Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. So the reason I have these books here is because I'm in the middle of reading the Addicted series right now. Um, I've only read the first three, but I am like getting the books as I go, so then once I get them they will be on the shelf. I brought these books with me because the third book comes out in October, and I'm gonna be here in October, so I thought, you know, they'll be here for when the third book comes out because they're just they're gorgeous books that I absolutely adore so they're here I like to keep my series together so in my head I was thinking oh when the third book comes in I'm gonna have it here and it would be weird if I just had the third book without the first and second so I decided to to take those books with me even though I've already read them 
I kept the majority of the books that I've read at my house because my space here is very limited and I didn't want to like fill up this shelf right away when I have plenty of books in my cart that are eventually gonna make it onto the shelf. Hopefully, maybe, we'll see. But for right now, I have like the books I've read in August over here and I will be taking like trips back home. And when I do, I think I'm gonna like take the books that I've read for the month back home. But I'm more than likely filming my wrap ups here. Books for my wrap ups will be like in this part of the shelf held up by the other bookend that is just absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, I haven't read very much this month because um, I've been a little busy. But um, that's okay because I think because I think the vibes are really good in here and I'm gonna be able to read a lot this year, hopefully. Then over here, we have Mr. Billy Dunn. Um, he is one of the main characters in the best book ever written, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, so I do have four copies of this book, but my mom convinced me to only bring one of them to school. So I brought, of course, the annotated copy so that I can like look back on it I do frequently look back at my favorite scene. If I need to feel something, I'll just like flip over on to page 320. Also, this is ever so slightly off topic, but I just bought this Honey Hive Thinking Putty. The putty has little bees in it, and the day I bought it, Jessa Hastings announced the next Magnolia Parks book. I didn't bring the Magnolia Parks books with me because I thought my shelf would look like extremely bare if they weren't there because like that shelf quite literally only has Magnolia Parks and Daisy Jones and the Six on it, so like I can't just take away all the books. Anyway, uh, I also have another little toy car. Um, this one's green because the colors of my room are like green, yellow, and blue. So I thought this one matched too, and you know, old car, old book, yeah. On this shelf, I have this, which holds like all of my bookmarks. It's a little vase that says girls who don't read are skanks. I actually have like these really gorgeous acrylic bookmarks, but they're, they're thick is an issue. And so like when I would put them in my bag or just like hold my book funny, they would fall out. So like I have them because they're gorgeous and I use them like every once in a while, but like I don't love them because they like to fall out. And then I have my tabs here that I also use as bookmarks when I'm tabbing a book. Then I also have like these little bookmarks that are super cute. I got a like 50 pack or something on Amazon and I adore these. But right behind that, I have my book embosser that I can just like pinch a page and it'll like put from the library of Aaron Rodder on it. I just absolutely adore this. This is so, so, so cute. You may be confused. Like who's this random person on your bookshelf? And that right there is Greta Gerwig. She directed my favorite movie, which is Little Women. That's why the Little Women book is right here. Um, and she also directed the Barbie movie. She's absolutely incredible. And I am a film major, so I feel like people aren't going to judge me if I have a director framed. I think they're gonna be like, oh my goodness, it's giving, it's giving Rachel Berry with like Barbara Streisand photos, which is like maybe, not as respectable, Rachel Berry, but um, I know a lot of people don't like Rachel Berry, but I think a lot of people like how driven she is or something. I don't know. I think people are gonna look at that and be like, wow, she really wants to be a director. She's really into film or something. I don't know, we'll see. And then right next to Little Women, I have Jane Austen because I do wanna read Jane Austen books and I haven't. I really wanna read Pride and Prejudice soon. And so originally I was thinking I'm gonna just bring Jane Austen but like that alone on my shelf looks a little weird. And so I thought it needs a friend. So, you know, what makes sense? Little women. And then if I have little women here, I have to have Greta. Okay, now moving on, I have this Papasan. Is that what it's called? I think so, chair. And this chair is just so cozy and fun to read on. And it's so comfy. And I wanted one because I saw Medita have one. And she said it was a great reading chair and then I was like convinced that I needed a great reading corner and a great reading chair for my room and I got one. <laughs> so here is the corner. The book cart is right here. Um, but yeah, shelf goes here. So I have like star confetti on my walls. It's from like the Midnight's era. If you ordered something on Taylor Swift's website, it would come with blue confetti stars. So of course they're here. 
My order only actually came with nine stars, so shout out to Claire for giving me all of her stars that came in her orders. But yes, I, I, I knew I always wanted to put these on my walls and here, and then I went to the poster sale and they had a Midnight's poster. And I was like, oh my gosh, and I have the perfect spot for it. This reading corner has brought me so much joy already. The vibes in this room make it feel very homey and I feel like I should have a good amount of time to read in my room this semester, which is very exciting. And this is going to be my home for a little while. So I wanted it to feel like kind of homey. I can't wait to like make reading vlogs in here. Like I'm just, I'm very excited for it. Like how can you like look at this room and think, oh yeah, whatever. This room, I'm just so excited because I always wanted a reading corner because like I don't know if you've seen my reading vlogs before, but I kind of film wherever. A lot of times it's just like in my bed or it's outside or something, but like now I have like a real corner I can, I can read in, which makes it so much easier for me to do reading vlogs. Anyway, I hope you like this video and please subscribe so you can see me put this reading corner to use and let me know what you think about this corner. Unless you're going to say something negative, then don't let me know. I don't want to hear it. Anyway, bye. Love you.